going on everybody we are back and today we're taking a look at another win pe environment on the ultimate usb version 2 the greatest usb ever made if you're not aware today we're gonna look at dlc boot if you haven't seen my previous videos i did a video on metacat and i've done a video on sergey strelek but today it's dlc boot let's hop into the category of multi-tools this is the ultimate usb version 2 there's a vent toy front loader here so under multi-tools, we have a whole bunch of options. Again, we've done one on Metacat. Very good. We've done one on Surge Select. Also very good. Today, we're taking a look at DLC Boot. Apologize in advance for any background noise. I've got three kids and a dog, and they're all down here this morning with me. So, welcome to dad life. All right, we've got three options. This is a 64-bit UEFI VM. Just know that if you boot on a legacy device running BIOS, x86 you will have multiple other options that you don't see here but today we're going to jump into the win 11 pe kind of cool it also has a cronus true image right there as an option to boot into let's hop into win 11 pe please enjoy the music while your iso boots all right guys we are booted up here in dlc boot and right out of the gate i can tell you, as you can see anyway, this is a very aesthetic layout for a WinPE environment. That desktop wallpaper is beautiful, and it does launch a UI here where we have category-based utilities, a little different from Metacat and Sergey Strelak, so I give it a thumbs up for that right out of the gate. Usually we're going through the start menu and kind of drilling down into the categories and so on and so forth. This is different so again, I like this. Let's check out these different categories. Min, what was this? Mini wind tools? Mini wind tools, first category. We've got a few things here. We can clear temp. You can turn terror copy on and off, set page file, and looks like a DLC temp option there as well. Next category is disk tools. Cool, some familiar ones here. We have partition wizard, we have an AOMI partition, Disk Genius, I won't go through all of these, but a nice layout. This is one that I use frequently for benchmarking drives, so two thumbs up for that. All right, let's move on to Backup and Restore. Oh, nice. We've got some familiar ones here as well. We've got a True Image. We've got Ghost. We've got Terabyte Drive. Very cool. Along with some other options that we don't see on a lot of these WinPE environments. All right, we'll head over to Driver. Looks like we've got a few driver utilities here that we can jump into if need be wow quite a few options in the network category we've got some vnc action down here we've got a browser we've got team viewer oh this is cool tftp d32 if you manage network devices chances are you've seen that any desk if you're a scammer you know about that all right data recover oh wow nice little selection here for data recovery guys chances are if you have a collection of WinPE tools or a go-to one, you've booted into one for the purpose of recovering data, whether that's for yourself or a customer or what have you. Uh, this is a very common use for a PE environment where you're booting outside of the Windows operating system for the purpose of trying to recover some data for somebody. So a nice little selection here. Get back data, ease us data, power data, I care data, along with the plethora of other tools disk drill this is a common one as well okay hardware tools wow interesting quite a few here as well we've got the hardware info 32 where you can get all the information looks like you can even change the serial number of some hardware very cool get some information about your battery nice office these are, okay, these are Office 2007 utilities. So if you needed to get into an Office document in the PE environment or a PDF file, looks like they've uh, prepared you for that as well or equipped you with their utilities for that. Antivirus. Oh, cool. We've got a few here. So we've got Dr. Webb, BCAV, BK Antimicrovirus, and Antimicronames. Cool. I'm sorry, Antimicronames. Not familiar with the last three there. Definitely Dr. Webb, but I haven't used those other three. Okay, system. We've got some system utilities here. You can do an active BCD editor, registry workshop, defragger. We don't really need that anymore. RegEdit, that's cool. That's built in. Process Explorer, very handy. 
NT LDR fixer there. NT boot auto fix. Cool. Not bad. I may have to kick the tires on this in another video where I actually test out some of these utilities. Because again, these aren't the most common ones in some cases. So I'd be curious to see how they perform. All right, now we've got utilities. Hey, everyone knows about C Cleaner. We've got Total Commander, 7-Zip, Resource Hacker, Turn Off Monitor, Link and Secure. We've got an on-screen keyboard, a mouse emulator, Ultra ISO, Burn Anywhere, Recover Keys. That could be handy. MP3 Cutter Joiner. Interesting. Rename File. Uh, okay, cool. Duplicate Finder. Hey, that could be handy. Check File Hash. <laughs> Sorry for the noise, guys. Check file hash. That could also be handy. Very cool. All right, on to USB tools. We've got a disk format, USB unhide. We've got a test USB. Rufus. You guys know I'm a fan of Rufus along with Ventoy. Uh, flash toolkit, SD formatter, and NTFS protection. All right, then we have a password remove section. Wow, look at all these. Anti-deep freeze. So deep freeze is a utility that kind of locks down a computer so that when you reboot, any changes are reverted. So it's kind of like freezing the hard drive, so to speak. Uh, we used to use this, do not anymore, but uh, anti-deep freeze. I'm assuming this can get you around that. So kind of cool. CMOS de-animator, active password be interested to see what that does oh password changer pro okay so these are probably all for if you're locked out of a computer or something like that i'm assuming you can either recover a password change a password bypass a password things like that so really cool windows gate interesting again some of these are i won't lie some of these are ones that i have not heard of so pdf password remover that's cool browser password all righty yeah, a lot of uh, unique options here, guys. Not sure if these are just really dated or if I'm dated and I haven't heard of a lot of these. <laughs> All right, this is a Microsoft crack, so I'm assuming you could come in here to... I'm not saying you should, but it sounds like this would kind of activate or get around a unactivated copy of Windows in some cases. you got a KMS activator, reload activator, KMS tools. And then last but not least, we have a random other tools category. So you can disable UAC. That could be handy. Boot Foxconn fix. Looks like a motherboard diagnostic utility. We've got a boot menu here. True image menu. So this must be like if you want to use an alternative menu. Sorry, I didn't mean to actually click on that. And we got an error there. So again, we have to come in here and really kick the tires on this to make sure everything's working. Um, ghost boot menu. DLC boot password. Okay. Very cool. Again, I, I do like the layout here, guys. This is a, a very cool layout. However, I've clicked on a couple things here, and they didn't work. So, again, we'd have to come in here and really test this out, do a little more digging on it. But as far as the aesthetics, I'm going to say this is probably one of my favorite WinPE environments I've seen thus far. Uh, I think I know why it's not very talked about out there, because the utilities are not well known. Again, uh a lot of these are not the big name ones that you see on most of the WIMP environments, like, for example, Heron's Boot CD, um, Sergey Strelec, Metacat USB, to name a few of the most popular ones today. Some really off-the-wall ones. Uh, not sure if these are like homebrew or that maybe they're from another country. Uh, not sure there, guys. And again, a few of them I clicked on did not work. Not going to go into kind of troubleshooting all this today. This was a high level overview of DLC boot. Again, there's multiple options to boot into. It's got the Win 11 PE right out of the gate, it's got the Win 10 PE, it's got the true image. And then if you're on an x86 BIO system, there'll be even more, excuse me, even more images that you can boot right into. But it's pretty. We'll give it that, right? Two thumbs up for aesthetics. <laughs> and again, I like this layout here. If I, I probably mentioned this before, but I plan on eventually, when I can find some time, guys, with three kids and a dog here, as you can hear in the background, <laughs> I plan on building my own PE environment, and I would love to collaborate with the community on that. We'll give it a cool name, and uh, 
I'd like to make it a project that kind of grows over the years. So eventually we're going to get to that. So that's why I like checking out all these different PE environments to get ideas, you know, to kind of build off of what's out there. And I am a fan of this, this DLC Boot 2022 menu here. Not sure what utility they're using, but it is really cool. Because again, some of these PE environments, not to take away from any of them, you go here and you're kind of drilling down to where all these categories are here. We'd be doing the same thing here, right? We'd be going through boom, 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 boom. This is unique and I kind of like it. It's got a more graphical feel to it. doesn't really feel so much like a PE environment. So for that, I'm going to give it, you know, two thumbs up on that. However, I'm going to take a few points away because a lot of these utilities are either super outdated or they're homebrewed or they're just not the big name ones. Not saying that's bad. I'm just saying I did click on a few of them and right away I got errors. So not saying they don't work. It just looks like if they do, some of these will need a little tweaking or troubleshooting. All right, guys, this is DLC boot. And again, we are using the ultimate USB version 2 to boot into this where we've got 57 images in one. It's the greatest USB ever made, guys. Not to beat a dead horse, but if you haven't picked one up, what are you doing? Get over there and pick one up, guys. This thing is awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so, please subscribe, guys. If you didn't know, it's free for you to do that, to subscribe to the channel. Looking at my analytics, 91% of my viewers are not subscribers. They're new viewers. So please take that second to hit that subscribe button, trying to grow the channel. The goal is 10,000 this year. I know that's kind of you know optimistic, but hey, you got to aim high, right? Let's see if we can hit 10K by the end of the year. All right, guys, really appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. Thumbs up, subscribe. Leave me a comment. What do you think about DLC boot? What's your go-to WinPE environment? Do you have something that's not on my USB? Probably not because I've got most of them, but let me know. What's your go-to and why? All right, guys, I hope you all have a great day. Till the next one, take care.